When I said I love reading, I wasn't kidding. One shelf, two shelf. That includes that red book there, Inkheart, is the book that got me into reading and writing, actually. It was uh, possibly the most influential book of my life, so. You should give it a read, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. The sequels are kind of crap, though. But, oh well. That author will always have a special place in my heart for that one. That's that shelf. Shelf four. Shelf five, including the Olivia Chow book that I have no idea where to put. Plus up at the top. But wait, there's more. Six more to be exact. Hello there. So, you just saw my rather extensive collection of books. Um, I have almost, I want to say almost 200, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't counted them in a while, but the last time I did do a count, I was over 150. So, I'm going to have to do that sometime, I'll, I'll mention it in the next step what the final count turned out to be. So, the, the one that I'm actually writing and, and working on and fleshing out is the one about magic. And to, to, to sum it up, it's basically about in a world where like magic is a total normal thing in, in society. Um, a guy, a military guy, takes over the you know the Federation army through through a coup. He becomes the new leader and silences all the governments of the world and uses his power and the army at his disposal to hunt down and commit a genocide against mages. And he you know appeals to people's fears and and insecurities when it comes to mages and you know basically turns the whole world against them. And it follows the story of uh, two people who, two teenagers who get caught up in the war. And uh, basically, it's about how they go from being ordinary teenagers to with exceptional gifts and, you know, possibly being daunted by the great shadow of their parents who are all very powerful mages. They go from being normal kids to you know, being kids in a war, having to fight for their lives and, you know, be on the run and survive and, you know, deal with those harsh conditions to eventually becoming a central part of the war and be basically becoming key figures in, in bringing an end to the war. So, it's, it's really a great journey of you know, sort of growing up in, in harsh times and overcoming, like, overcoming being a child and living through a war. You know, it's, it's not, it's not easy to do that, it's, especially when it's, when it is a war, like a genocide where, you know, everyone blatantly hates you specifically for no other reason other than, you know, you were born that way. So, it, it really is a great a great story and I'm totally in love with it. I, I love everything about it. I've been planning it out for years. I started writing the actual manuscript in the first year of college and now I'm about halfway done. So I've probably talked your ear off about this now. So I'm going to leave it at that. 